Hey guys, this is Steve Huff, stevehuffphoto.com. I'm here today with a little video talking about how to pimp out your Sony RX1R Mark II. So on my RX1R II, because it's a camera that I mostly use for my personal everyday kind of shooting, um, I wanted to make it comfortable. You know, when you use a camera every day, um, you want it, you bond with it. Um, I've been talking about bonding with your camera for years. And when you use it every day, you want it to be comfortable. You want it to inspire confidence. You want it to be, to look good and look nice. And at the same time, you want to make it your own. You want to make it unique to you. With my RX1R2, I basically, I have the viewfinder up all the time. I have the little eye cup that comes with the, the Sony. And I think that's awesome that it comes with it. And sometimes this falls off, but I have it locked in place pretty good now. It's tricky to get on. So I keep my viewfinder up because I use the viewfinder almost 90% of the time with this camera. I added a grip. Um, I have two grips here and I like both of them. Um, and I'm gonna let you decide which would be better for you, of course, if you're looking for a grip for your RX1R Mark II. And I'll put this grip on in a second so you can see it. Um, I have one from uh, Metro Case, which is a formed um, black grip. It's not really a case, it's a grip. But this is Arca Swiss compatible right out of the gate. So you put that on and it gives you this extra grip right here. You have full access to your battery and memory cards. It screws into the tripod uh, plate, but you still have another tripod adapter. So that's the Metro case grip, which I will put on in a second. And the website, I'll put it right down here below, metro-case.com. And these come in at around 80 bucks or so. Then we have the one that's on the camera right now from JB Design. Now JB Design makes some of my favorite grips for certain cameras. I really love these that have the wooden grip right here. Now they're made in the USA, they're all wooden, and they come in at around 80 bucks as well. And this gives you that nice little grippage for such a small camera. As you can see in my hands, you can see how small the RX1R Mark II is. And it's a slightly different body than the old Mark I uh, versions. Um, so this grip adds a little height to it, as you can see, right there. And it also adds the grip, and it's all wood, and it looks very attractive. I also love the grip they make for the Leica M, which looks very similar. And they even make one right here for the Olympus Pen F. With each uh, JB grip, you get this little package. And inside the package is your screw slash tripod mount and a penny. So we open this up and this goes into the bottom of the grip. Screw it in with your penny into your camera and you have instant grip. Um, and it comes with a penny so you can do this. So you can take it off. And it stays on tight until you loosen it of course. It's a little tricky to get because there's no grippage on it. There we go. So there is the RX1R JB case, as you can see now. And that one's around 80 bucks. So now we're gonna put on the Metro case grip. It's more stealth, it's not, it doesn't give it that retro vibe. Instead, it gives it um, a more sleek kind of look and a more traditional look. And like I said, it has Arca Swiss compatibility built right in. And underneath here, you also have your full access. You have a tripod mount there. And this is what it looks like on the camera. Let me get my lighting better here. So, as you can see, right there, you have a little thumb grip right here to rest your thumb. And it also keeps you from accidentally pressing that movie button and you have your strap lug hole so you can still add your uh, favorite strap. So this is from metrocase.com. I'll put the uh, address down here again, metro-case.com and that also comes in at around 80 bucks. All right, so the next thing I wanted to show you guys is this metal lens hood. 
Um, it's all metal, and I got it on Amazon from Photo Deox, and they make some really cool accessories that are inexpensive. Uh, this is not only, I think, cooler than the actual Sony brand, it um, is cheaper. So you can get an all metal lens hood which is square, I think the Sony official uh, one is round. So look for the Photo Deox RX1R um, lens hood and you'll find it at Amazon. So we have the low lumina shutter release button here which I put on this uh, red one here and I chose the 13 millimeter regular size. Um, which is actually not the one I would recommend for the RX1R. I would recommend the 10 millimeter mini uh, soft release. And they have concave, they have convex, they have all kinds of colors. There's a silver 13 millimeter concave. Um, here is a uh, 13 millimeter regular uh, in green. Here's a gold 13 millimeter. I have a slew of these low luminas here. Uh, 10 millimeter mini uh, in green. Here's a standard 13 in blue. So here's a little tiny 10 millimeter silver regular. So there's all kinds of um, different sizes, shapes, and colors from Low Lumina. And their website is lowlumina.com. I will again put it down here for you so you can see exactly. Um, what they have to offer on their own website. But what's cool is they screw together um, and then they stick on to your soft release. Let's see, everything from small 10 millimeter diameter buttons, 13 millimeter diameter buttons, and knurled edge concave buttons. We offer them in num numerous shapes and colors. Most cameras, there are no options for interchangeable soft release buttons, but that's okay. Only a few cameras in the marketplace allows for a threaded soft release buttons. So the benefits of steadier shots and a more tactile experience in a flexible package was not available. Uh, in the Lum Low Lumina LO system, separating the soft release button from the mount allows users to change the button color and type. Designed using T304 stainless steel, the mounting base comes in two different shapes to accommodate a range of shutter button curvatures. The soft release button is CNC machined out of a solid rod of aerospace grade series 6000 aluminum and is anodized with a protective surface treatment. Um, so these buttons are really, I've had a lot of shutter release buttons over the years and I've lost every single one of them. I've bought exotic handmade wooden ones that got lost within days. I've bought normal stick on ones that ended up popping off after a month and these seem to be uh, the best bet if you're looking for a soft release button. Now what does a soft release button do? What's the point? Well, it uh, many use them for a steadier shot. Uh, soft release, it's believed you can get a little bit slower shutter speed without blur. A lot of people buy them because they like the way they look. I mean the red one on here pops um, on the Sony RX1R2 um, and I like, I like the combo of black and red. I used to have red straps with all my black cameras. So those soft re release buttons, low lumina, soft relief button and mounts, this is a complete kit and um, you don't have to have a threaded soft release button. It'll work on any shutter release button. So go check them out at lowlumina.com. Uh, another thing I want to show you guys to pimp out your RX1R2 is this awesome cheap battery charger from Vivitar. It's on Amazon and um, you can see the link on my website at stefaphoto.com. You can charge two batteries at once. Okay. Now it doesn't plug in, or it does plug in, but it's a USB. So you need a USB charger and it comes with a cable but not the charger. Um, so, But we have those all over the place. I think I have six USB chargers. Uh, in the house. So this not only charges two batteries at a time, it charges them rather quickly. And this was something like under 15 bucks, I believe. Um, so it's cheap, effective, and you can charge uh, two of them at the same time. Now inside here I have official Sony batteries. But as we all know, these batteries don't last forever in the RX1R2 or the RX1R, RX1, I'm sorry. But there's batteries you can buy on Amazon that are generics. Um, 
and they're very cheap. I think you can get like two for 12 bucks and these work just as well for me as the Sony brand. They might give a little bit less life than the Sony brand, but they're so cheap, they're like five, six bucks each. So I have a bunch of these, um, so I try to keep them charged and I never run out of battery juice in my RX-1 or my RX-100. That's basically my little video guide to creating your own kind of unique RX-1 um, with some cool accessories. So you have the lens hood, you have a choice of grip, um, you have a shutter release button, um, and one thing you don't see on this camera is a strap because with this camera it's so small I usually keep it in like a small little bag and I just pull it out when I want to use it but anyway thanks for watching this is Steve Huff from stevehufffoto.com come to my website each and every day for something new daily inspirations reviews news passionate user reports and all kinds of things my website is Steve Huff Photo is not about me it's about all of you the photo community who've been going there for eight over eight years now holy cow um, but there's thousands of you every day there and it's for you because you guys write your user reports you guys send in your articles and your thoughts people all over the world submit reviews daily inspirations and everything photographic uh, for me it's more about keeping that passion alive um, for photography that's what the site is all about so be sure to check there often and this is Steve I'll let you guys go now and I'll see you next video bye